family told me, uh, you know, Javi, we dedicate our whole lives to Chabad Shluchim, Shluchim. And they dedicate their lives to being Makara people. How's it going to be that this family who are being Makara comes to our house, they see our daughter, not Sanua, being Makal Shabbos? How's this going to work? And what do they see our reaction? So we want to show them Derech HaTayra. So we should show them how pained we are and we're crying and we should tell her, don't do this in the house, get out of here. This way they'll see the beauty of Tyra. But now they're coming and we're doing twisted parenting, we're being Makara Ba'avoy Sahava, and now what do they see? All of a sudden, it's okay to be like this, it's okay to be like that, it's going to be bad for business. I told them you should know, this is great for business. Why? Besides for, you have to save your kid, and you have to do what's right for this neshama that Hashem gave you. It's good for business. Why? The people coming are not religious. And they don't know if you really accept them. It's your love and acceptance of them that makes them change. The haraya, when they come, why don't you give them musa? Everybody knows you're not going to be a makar of anybody with divrei teichacha. You smile, I'm happy to see you. When they say they're interested in learning, no, maybe you want to do something. You draw them in. How do you draw somebody in? By yelling and screaming and by pushing away who they are? No. Now they come to your house and they see your daughter is not Sliyastik, Michal Shabbos. And what do you do? You smile at her. How do they feel? They feel, I guess you really accept me. If you can accept your daughters like that, it means you really accept me. They're going to be drawn even more to you. Even more to you. Besides, by accepting your daughter, they see love. They're going to say, this is something that I want to subscribe to. It's a loving religion. But when you go ahead and you're marachik, it's bad for business. The truth is that the Lubavitcher Rebbe, he said this story himself. He told some Bachrim that he came from the Rebbe de Rayatz. And he asked the Rebbe, he said, people come into 770, they want to buy all kinds of stuff. They have like a Merkaz over there and whatever they come in for. And I'm nice to them. I'm nice to them, whether they're from or they're not from. So he asked the Rebbe de Rayatz, maybe by showing them love and acceptance, they're going to think that they're okay. They're not going to be motivated to be from. Maybe I should scowl. And the, the Rebbe de Rayatz told him a beautiful example. He said, every child loves their, every parent loves their child. But if your child is sick, there's an additional lahava for that child. He said, when you see somebody not doing the right thing, it should increase the ahava to that person. Nebuch, they're not putting on tefillin. Increases ahava, not hatred. So you have to awaken your mercy to that. There is no kir of, of kreivim or rechaikim or anything, of anybody, to come back once they fell off to come back, never without sweetness. And just now, I got a call from a Taka Chabad Shliach, and they said that I told them this, and they didn't believe it. But now, somebody told them, we're amazed, we see that even though you're so from, you're a Havas Yisrael to your daughter who's not from. It's so beautiful to see how people out there throw their kids out, even Goyim, they have troubled teens, and look how you're loving her, even though she's different than you. It's drawing them like a magnet to want to be more involved with our religion. When you do what the, what the Baal Shem Tov said, and what the Chazanish said, when you do authentic Torah, you won't find any source that says you have to put your foot down, you have to have rules and boundaries and consequences. Find me the source, please. Because any Gadol, I have hundreds and hundreds of stories, has always said, Don't be Merachik. But why, if I'm not going to be Merachik, Right? You're going to give him a finger, he's going to take a hand. doesn't apply to a Yiddish kind. But why? If, if you're going to let them, they're all going to go off to derech. doesn't apply to a Yiddish kind. Everybody wants to be healthy and skinny. Right? We all agree on that? So if your kid breaks a diet, come down hard on them. You're going to kill their desire. They're going to say, forget it, I give up, I'll be 400 pounds. You don't have to create the desire to be healthy and skinny. It's innate in every human being. Every Yiddish kid, every chelak mamish is mamish wants to be good. You don't need to create anything. But how is he going to, why should he? Make them happy and normal and stable 
successful, and you'll see what we see. Those kids who everyone else wrote off, one after another, psh, pop up, pop up. All of a sudden, why? You have everything. You're finally successful, and you're happy without it. No, you want to go back to the Shavish, especially when you were brought up like that, and especially when your family loves and accepts you when you're not that way. Because if you get burned by anybody in the family or the community while you're down and out, then even when you're stable, you say, not for me. I don't want to be part of those nasty people. They hurt me when I was down. They didn't understand me. They were merachek me. That's poison, 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 and poison. But he needs it. It's in for their best interest. Otherwise, they're going to... does not apply to Inzira, Haimisha, Jewish, Erlicha, kids who grew up in our families. doesn't apply. You're taking medicine that was given for a different person from a different country with a different disease, and you're applying it to our kids. It'll never work. We see it doesn't work. Only Liebschaft. Only Ahava. You have to tolerate a lot. You have to understand a lot about trauma and abuse. You have to understand that now you're no longer parents. Now you're Hatzala. Whether you're saving your kid emotionally or psychiatrically, or whether you're saving them spiritually, now you're Hatzala. I have so many people. They say, I, I don't do Kirov. Now you're enlisted. You're doing Kirov. Very sorry. Now you're doing Kirov. You're doing Kirov on your child, and you're doing Kirov on your children's friends, and you're going to be Makar of all of them. Learn how to do it, master it, and like Rabbi Aaron Shech, the Zalzayin Gazun, told me when I went to see the Rashiv of Chaim Berlin, he said, Do what you got to do, and do it good. And that's my message to you. Do what you got to do, and do it good. Saif Akavoy Lover, you will have the last laugh. Be'ezus Hashem.